My name is Alena Shkumatova. Um, I was born in Belarus in Minsk, uh, where I just finished my high school and afterwards I moved to Vienna, Austria to, do, to study biology. Afterwards I moved to uh, Heidelberg, Germany, where I did my PhD, and I moved to um, Boston to perform my postdoctoral research at MIT in Cambridge, USA. Um, and now I'm here. I just started my own lab at the Institute Curie, um, where I'm junior group leader. It's very interesting to be here. Definitely this place is so full of history, of um, a history of a very successful, very powerful and visionary woman in science who was a foreigner here. And, you know, years and years ago, it was not only hard for women in science, but also as a foreigner to establish herself. So I think Eastern European women here did very well, I would say. <laughs> My lab will be focusing on a special RNA species called uh, long non-coding RNAs. We are using ZebraFish as a model system to understand functions of these long non-coding RNAs during development. Um, so basically what we are doing is we are perturbing uh, this uh, long non-coding RNAs in ZebraFish embryo and look uh, what happens to the embryos. And in few cases, embryos we are not developing normal. And the interesting part was that if you bring a human variant of this molecule inside of the fish, you can restore normal development by bringing human variants of these molecules in the zebrafish embryo. I met Lena the first time in Heidelberg in, uh, I think it was 2001. I think Lena, she's a great colleague to have around because she's very smart and committed to her work and she's dedicated and of course she's done fantastic uh, work in the past years on, on in her field, but at a personal level is also a nice person to, to interact and to, to have as a friend. I just arrived, everything is empty here, so I have to organize all my lab space, my office and so on, and also hire people. So I will... Uh, uh, used the money I received from the foundation to set up my lab and um, it will allow me to do, of course, experiments which are planned and which will for sure give us uh, strong results, but also uh, will allow me uh, to take some interesting new approaches and uh, to perform a little bit more risky experiments. So now I'm not limiting with funding. I can really uh, start doing more exciting or cutting edge research. I think that's the key thing when you start from scratch where you don't necessarily have anything up and running to actually try and get as much as advice as possible from the people around you who have a bit more experience. And it's actually easy because the beginning is always exciting somehow. New projects, new people, new techniques. So I'm sure she'll do very well. I'm thrilled. I am very excited. It's a completely new role and completely new function for me. Of course, um, I'm also missing the bench and pipette, so I am in an urge to start as soon as possible so I can start performing my experiments and doing my experiments because that's what I like, what I love, and that's my patient. Yeah. <laughs>